Do you not agree that that is what I think Jay-Z is saying when Jay-Z says we ain't moving dimes for the sake of moving dimes. We doing crime because we ain't doing fine. Is that not what Kanye West is saying before he lost his mind with the woman he's with right now when Kanye said what's the life expectancy of black guys? The system's working effectively. That's why. What is the thematic thread woven through the fabric of those statements from Victor Hugo through Jay-Z to Kanye West, all of them are daring to declare that instead of looking and labeling people who engage in certain behavior as menaces to society, maybe it's the society that has become a menace itself. And my brothers and sisters, I thought I would wrestle with this idea in front of you because the sad reality is we live in a nation where people are hurt hurting, people are suffering, and as a consequence of the structures that are, in a real sense, limiting them because of the labels they have placed on them, they find themselves engaging in a limited, or they, they find themselves with limited options because of limited options and limited opportunities. I guess I'll give it to you like this. I won't forget reading Harry Belafonte's uh, classic book entitled My song. Harry Belafonte, I love him not only for his gifts as an entertainer, but for using his stage in order to give a voice to those who were voiceless. Harry Belafonte was not just an entertainer. He was an activist or is an activist. Harry Belafonte did not just use his voice to sing. He used his voice to speak truth to power. He used his resources to help finance the civil rights struggle. And so Harry Belafonte talks about how the civil rights struggle was running low on funds in order to help ensure that the march from Selma to Montgomery would go off well. And so they decided to do a fundraiser in Houston, Texas. And when they put on the fundraiser, they were able to secure the services of the future Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Imagine that Riri is on to sing at this fundraiser, raising money for the civil rights struggle. But check out what happened. Uh, the concert is just underway. The auditorium in Houston, H-Town, is jam-packed when all of a sudden uh, they start coughing. The audience starts coughing. Uh, why? Because they later discovered that the Ku Klux Klan, uh, according to Harry Belafonte, had filled uh, the system, had filled the vents with tear gas. And because the system uh, had been infected, Aretha Franklin, as gifted as she was, was unable to finish what she had set out to do. I think you missed it right there. Here is Aretha, supremely talented, but because the system had been messed with, the system was sick. In a real sense, it precluded her from fulfilling the possibilities on stage at that concert. And how many of us, my brothers and sisters, looking at our lives, where we want to be and where we actually are have nothing to do with the other. And it may well be that there is a system that is so wired to ensure injustice and income inequality and other strictures that we find ourselves living beneath our possibility. And with that being the case, I'm suggesting before we label certain people as a menace to society, Maybe we need to take a good look at the society. Bishop West Baptist Church.